Welcome to a video presentation of a section covering the substitution method. Usually, when we teach solving systems of equations, we don't generally start with Kramer's rule. Okay? Usually, we start with the substitution method or the elimination method, which are the two most pure mathematical ways to solve systems of equations. We didn't do that, but we still need to cover substitution and elimination because they are topics you'll encounter next year, and I'd like you to have some familiarity before you start. All right. The objective. You're going to get one equation into x equals something or y equals something form. So you want one of the equations that you're given to say x equals and then your string of things, or y equals and then your string of things. Mm -hmm. You're going to take that information and put it into the other equation. That's why it's called substitution. You're going to take something and put it into the other equation. To find the value of one variable, use the result to find the value of the other. Get one equation into x equals something or y equals something form. Plug that information into the other equation to find the value of one variable, use the result to find the value of the other. And the solution form, meaning where you write your answers, you write them like you write numbers on the coordinate plane. Remember, you've got the x things and the y things. You go over them, up or down, and the point. Okay? You write them the same way. So your x number comes first, comma, your y number, and that's got to go in parentheses. As you can see, we only have four examples on the board, but there's quite a bit of space. There's definitely a lot of writing involved here tonight. Okay. There's no shortage of writing. Okay. And again, this is one of those things it's almost impossible to do without showing work. So yes, I would expect you to show work on this assignment. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into example one. 2x plus 3y equals 5, and x equals 2y minus 1. First step, I've got said I have to get one equation into x equals something or y equals something form. If you look at the second equation here, you can see it is in that form. It's x equals something form. Does it matter which one it is? No. As long as you have one of them, so it's x equals or y equals, it doesn't matter. X and y, they both work fine. Okay, there's no pro over one to the other. So that's your starting point. Now, for a lot of your, you can see in the equations on the board, Right. They're already all set up like that. On Monday, we'll cover the ones that aren't set up like that. Okay. All right. So, next part of the instruction said so to plug that information into the other equation to find the value of one variable. Okay. I'm going to erase this for a minute. Don't erase it in your own. So I'm going to erase this for a minute. Okay. If this said x equals 4, If that just said x equals 4, nothing else, just said 4, all right, you would say, okay, well, if x is 4, then I'm going to change that x into a 4. Okay, that's what you would do. It doesn't matter that it said 2y minus 1. You're going to do the exact same thing. Okay? x is 2y minus 1, so you're going to change this x into 2y minus 1. So I'm going to rewrite this. And again, I'm changing x into 2y minus 1. Okay. Notice, I didn't make any other changes there. The 2 is still there. The plus 3y is still there. And the equals 5 is still there. All that stuff is still there. The only one thing I changed is I changed x into 2y minus 1. Okay. Well, now it's an equation and there's only one variable there. Okay, notice x is gone, which is what we want to happen. That's the way the reason this works. We've got y. Now, take a look at this part here. You've got a number in front of parentheses. You know from what we've been working on the last two days, a number in front of parentheses is 
distributive property. Okay, so I've got to distribute the 2 through. So I've got 2 through to 2y and 2 through to 1. So 2 times 2y is 4y. 2 times 1 is 2. Subtraction stays in the middle. In almost all these problems, you're going to have distributive property. Plus three y equals five. Okay, so now we just follow the rules for solving equations. Remember, variables on the left side, lonesome numbers on the right side. So I've got to put four y and 3y together. 4y and 3y make 7y. So I got 7y minus 2 equals 5. Okay. Now, I've got to move the 2 because remember lonesome numbers go to the right. Lonesome numbers go to the right, so I'm going to add 2 to each side. <coughs> and I've got 7y equals 7. Divide by 7, you get y equals 1. Okay, now this is the hard part for most people to accept. Most of you say, oh man, that was a lot of work. <laughs> you're right, and the worst part is you're not done yet. Right? We've only found y. Notice in the original equations, we had x. We still have to find x. Now, luckily for you, finding the second one is a whole lot easier. Okay? We know now that y is equal to 1. To solve the second one, you pick one of the original equations. So I can pick this one or this one. I'm going to pick this one. Okay? Now, if I know... If I know that y is equal to 1, well, let's change y to 1. So x equals 2 times 1 minus 1. 2 times 1 is, of course, equal to 2. So I've got x equals 2 minus 1, or x equals 1. So x is 1, y is 1. And that's a substitution.